After having expelled the legion of devils that were possessing two men in the territory of the Gadareans, these same Gadareans now ask the Lord Jesus to leave their territory in order to be left alone. Do you sometimes ask Jesus to be left alone? Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria! Today's Gospel is presented to us by St. Matthew chapter 8, verses 28 to 34, and could be called the Gospel of the Gadarean Devils and Swine. In this Gospel, we see a great contrast. Um, on one side, we see the devils who submit themselves to the word of Jesus. On the other side, we see the Gadareans who refuse the healing presence of the Lord. Now, let's read an excerpt of today's Gospel. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadareans, two demoniacs who were coming from the tombs met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. So here we see two demoniacs, two men who are possessed by demons, coming from the tombs. And these men are tormented and possessed by many, many, many demons, many devils. Jesus miraculously heals and liberates these men of the devils with one word, go away. And all of the devils submit to the word of Jesus and leave the men alone. They then request permission from Jesus, the devils request permission, to go into a nearby herd of swine, who then go running wildly down a steep bank on into the sea, and they all drown. In the Gospel of St. Mark, we learn that there are actually 2,000 of these swine that were possessed um, and, uh, and, and that actually drowned, so 2,000 swine. Now, the swine herds, the men who are taking care of the swine, they turn around and they run away from Jesus. And they go report everything to the Gadarean people in the town. They report about, of course, the two demoniacs being freed from the demons, but they also and especially report about all of the swine drowning in the sea. And what do the Gadarean people do? Let's continue reading the Gospel. Thereupon, the whole town came out to meet Jesus, the town of the Gadareans. And when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. Yes, they begged Jesus to leave their district. Um, can you imagine? They actually asked Jesus to leave their territory, to leave their area, to leave their region. Now, what strikes me here? and what must certainly strike you also in this episode of the life of the Lord, is the fact that the manifestation of Jesus' mighty power, his healing power, exorcistic power, resulted in the Gadarean people to ask him to leave. Why do the Gadarean people ask and beg Jesus to leave? It's not because they viewed themselves as, as unworthy um, of, of Jesus' love. And it's, it's not because um, they thought that Jesus was just too good for them, but it's because Jesus made them lose money. Yes, he made them lose their herd of 2,000 swine. These villagers are upset with Jesus. They don't care that Jesus freed the two demoniacs from the demons. They don't care that Jesus exorcised these two men. They just care that they made um, that, that he made them lose, he made them lose money. They ask him to go away, they should actually be hailing him as a hero, as a miracle worker, as, as a savior. So why did they beg Jesus to leave? Because after losing money, they were now afraid of losing the rest of their livelihood. They had just lost 2,000 pigs and they were now afraid they were going to have to lose more because of the powerful presence, exorcistic presence of our Lord. Money talks after all. So 
contrast this to the encounter of the disciples with Jesus on the road to Emmaus, whose hearts started to burn within them when he spoke to them of his truth. We like to think that in our encounter with Jesus, we would always react like the disciples of Emmaus. We would, we would welcome the Lord at all times. And today we are scandalized by um, listening um, to the reaction of these Gadarean townspeople who ask the Lord to leave them alone. But, dear brothers and sisters, let's be careful. We too can sometimes be tempted to ask Jesus to leave our territory, to leave our lives, to leave us alone. We can sometimes want to keep Jesus at a distance because we sense that his nearness might be just too demanding. On the contrary, we must strive to subordinate our personal plans and our attachments to God's designs, to God's plans. If we have a selfish or materialistic outlook of life, we will fail to appreciate the value of divine things and divine actions. And we will therefore end up pushing Jesus out of our lives, begging him to go away, just as the Gadareans did. So the question today is, do I really want the Lord Jesus to stay with me, no matter what the earthly cost will be? Will I ask the Lord to stay or to go away? What am I willing to lose for the Lord? Let's ask Our Lady now to always give us the generous, um, a generous heart in order to always welcome the Lord, the Lord Jesus, in our lives, whatever the cost. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.